What's goody? What's poppin'? It's your boy, who's man's? You already know what time it is, but before I get into the video, go ahead, subscribe, and hit the bell so y'all never miss an upload. Also, hit that like and also comment let me know how y'all like this call of duty so far so far i do like it there's a few things that i i dislike but i i uh touch on that in a previous video um and also today i'm gonna just talk about um some things that you can do to improve um your experience in call of duty now everybody knows that it's a camp fest in this game and it's main i personally think it's mainly because you don't show up on the mini map when you shoot and the map design. Now, with that being said, you still gotta be smart when playing this game is you just definitely can't run around with a chicken with your head cut off unless you know, you're one of those top dudes that's, uh, you know, playing, which they are, they know how good they are. They know their capabilities. They know what to do, but I'm gonna just kind of go over some things and use this gameplay as an example. Now, first thing I'm gonna talk about, very easy one, stop being so aggressive. Now, I'm not saying to sit back and camp and wait for people. It's just, when you push, you definitely have to be strategic in that. I'm not saying to just full on run in, guns blazing, nuts out, thinking you the, the baddest dude on the planet. You can't do that in this game. It's not really gonna work out for you. Unless, like I said, you're one of them dudes and you just, you just that's what you do. Um, it sucks because that's what I'm used to doing is just guns blazing, going there, nuts hanging out, just, you know, having fun. This game is a lot harder. You definitely have to be more strategic. You can't push too hard. You definitely have to fall back sometimes and you have to, uh, you know, just be a little bit more patient. With being, with that being said, when you're being patient, you definitely have to pick and choose your gun battles because when you, st the kill time is a lot quicker, but at the same time, you have to, you have to, uh, you definitely have to be careful because there's been so many times where I've started shooting somebody and didn't kill them and i go in once again being too aggressive trying to kill them and they got the drop on me they've found a corner they sat in it they got the the shotgun out with the you know with a ha-ha mask on and they catch me slipping uh one thing to help prevent that is number one if you do do i mean it's gonna happen if you start shooting somebody you don't kill them and they get away forget about it move on you know move on to the next person uh, another thing that you could do is just try your hardest to not engage in that battle until you can clearly get them and you know for a fact you're going to, you know, get them. Um, a couple of things that you can do uh, in gunfights is, you know, do the jump shot or the drop shot. One of those, those two are always good um, tactics when shooting. Um, as you've seen, the first time I came out here, way too aggressive. I'm still too aggressive. I push too far. I don't really have good cover, even though I'm using this car, but I don't have good cover because somebody could be behind me and I don't have the advantage on them right here. I'm just kind of stuck out in the open. I have no cover. Uh, I definitely should have been back further up on that wall and I could have used the mount and, you know, picked them off a little bit, but didn't. And you know, I pay for it. You're gonna see, I picked this dude off through a bush. And then homie said, I'm sick of everything you doing. Come around the corner, blop, blop. Put a couple shots at me, I fall down, it's a wrap. Um, there's just little things in the game that you can do to improve, you know, your KD and whatnot. Definitely never go through the middle of the map. <laughs> never go through the middle of the map. Um, you know definitely always check your corners there's a couple of things that i don't do while checking my corners in this game i just kind of run around the corner uh one thing that i used to do that i don't do now which i need to start doing is um when i come around a corner i used i used to just jump or you can slide around that corner and aim down sight that way you know if somebody is just sitting in the doorway or sitting in that room like that you jump the headshot is going to be a lot harder because it's up higher so they're going to have to aim higher and then once they do that when you come down uh a, a good tactic i used to use is jumping and then going straight into prone so like a jump drop shot and it just makes it harder for them to scope in on your head and just you know target the center mass because <clears throat> you're just moving around too much and it's a little harder to contain <clears throat> 
Now, this part of this gameplay was a perfect example of um, me utilizing my cover and not staying in one area too long, uh, not pushing too hard. And you see, I rack up a couple of kills. Now, it's not in the, it, it's a little bit more boring than, you know, I wanted it to be, but I do a lot better <clears throat> and I frustrate my opponents. Um, if you do, if you stay this way, it, it's, I mean, just because of how the maps are in the game and yada, 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 it's going to be more, um, I guess a little bit more boring depending on what kind of player you are, but you know, I'm having more success doing this. Uh, it sucks because I don't, I'm not trying to camp. I'm definitely trying to be in the action in the mix, but you know, it is what it is. Um, another thing is <clears throat> definitely using the right uh, guns for the right maps. Um, if you have a lot of maps where, you know, there's a lot of long shots that you're gonna be taking, definitely use assault rifles. If you're going, if you know you're going to be in close range gun battles, then use your assault rifles. Um, they definitely help. Um, aim down sight speed is a big thing. So when you're using, when you're picking your attachments, keep that in mind. If it slows your aim down, aim down sight speed when you're using uh, assault rifles, it's gonna hurt your, it's gonna hurt. Um, you're gonna lose more gun battles than you win because you know whoever gets the gun up first and puts shots on you first is really who's gonna win that gun battle. Um, but uh, <clears throat> that is that. Um, like I said, don't run through the center of the map. What am I doing? Run through the middle of the map, and I'm going right back to the spot where I just got capped, which is not smart. If you get killed by somebody and you're getting pissed off and you go shoot, you want to go kill them. Don't go right back and try to, you know, do what you, you know, don't try to seek revenge because they have the drop on you. They know that, okay, well, there's only a couple of spots you can run in. You know what I mean? Uh, it's only a couple of spots you can, you can go and do damage. Uh, just forget about it. Come back to it later because they're either going to have to move or you're going to figure out another route to get them. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, what else dead silence is a good perk or yeah good uh field uh or what is it called field ordinance whatever it's called that's a good one to use um definitely sound whoring is a big thing in this game it definitely helps a lot to use you know if you have a good uh sound system or headphones use them um i know a lot of people dislike the call outs but i'm not gonna lie they kind of help <clears throat> Also, you can hear your enemies do it too. So if they say enemy in the area, um, I always listen for that and try to find who said it. Uh, use your mini map when you hear that too. Because if you hear it, you don't see any of your teammates around you. You know there's an enemy over there and uh, the character seen them on screen. Um, <laughs> right there, you see my opponent do the jump, you know, jump around corner, aim down sight kind of thing. Um, one thing that I do remember doing that also helped in gun battles, um, which you don't hear too much anymore, was if I got caught lacking when I ran around a corner and I seen somebody, I would hit fire first and then aim down sight. Um, reason being is if I wait till I aim down sight to start shooting, uh, you know, there's, there's more time for me to get shot. If I just start shooting, if I hit fire first and then aim down sight, I can get a couple of shots on you and then when I aim down sight, I can, you know, get more precise and finish the job quicker. It definitely helps sometimes. Um, anything you can do to get your shot on first. But that's really all I have to say for right now. Uh, I'm going to let this video ride out and uh, let the beats, whatever beat I have in there, something I made. Um, I'm going to just let it ride out in this game. But uh, if you do like this video and you want some more kind of like tip videos, um, let me know. I'm not the greatest, but I'm not stupid. And <laughs> I do watch a lot of my gameplays to make sure that I'm doing, you know, that I can uh, do a lot better. Um, and I do want to help y'all and hopefully this game becomes less campy because I think everybody would have fun with this game. But anyway, like I said, if y'all like this video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, um, hit the like, uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, that's going to be it for me.
see y'all later. Peace.